Hi everyone. So I'm just trying something new today. We're going to do a um, we're going to do a play review. So I'm going to try and play Immortals Phoenix Rising whilst giving it a review at the same time. So we're going to see how it works. And it's my first live stream, so we'll see how we get on. It could all go terribly wrong, but hopefully not. So if you haven't got this game, it is a brilliant game. Ubisoft have done incredibly well to do a multi-platform release and then still bring it out on the Switch without any sort of review. Yeah, they've done they've done a really good job with this one. I think Ubisoft really have been a savior of Nintendo over the last few years. When a lot of other companies kind of gave up, Ubisoft did really well to make plenty of games obviously even the Wii U they supported the Wii U a lot more than than other companies did we had what Zombie U we had all of the different Assassin's Creed's as well it was Watch Dogs I think Watch Dogs might have even been on on the um, on the Wii U the first one So obviously I'm not I really don't know the reason for this but the we got basically a price drop within the within the first what week of the game coming out which I'm not 100% sure why but you can't complain really at that So I've got to go and try and find a cabbage from somewhere See if there's one down here somewhere. So I've got a few little things in front of me, a few things that I want to kind of hit on as well as try and play the game as best I can for you. So what do you think the game's like? Obviously, I don't know what the quality is like on your screen of my stream. Hopefully it looks all right. So I'm not, I don't normally play with the um, Pro Controller either, I normally do everything in handheld mode, so obviously all of the gaming that I've done for the game so far has been in handheld mode. Okay, so that is what I'm supposed to try and take down. He looks particularly angry. So obviously you can see from the game, you can see why it's had so many comparisons with um, Breath of the Wild. It's obviously the same art style, but it's a bit like saying obviously Oh, Nino Kuni is is Pokemon because they have the same art style. Um, it plays completely differently, I would say, from uh, from Breath of the Wild. The the sim in terms of similarities, it's pretty much it looks like Breath of the Wild. Everything else is quite different. Obviously, we have wings in Breath of the Wild. We had, um, what do we have? Not the kite. I'm going to call it a kite because I can't remember what it's called. Um, but you know exactly what I mean. And then, obviously, with this game here, you don't obviously lose the weapons. Which is one of the reasons why I actually, I don't prefer, obviously, um, this to Breath of the Wild. They're two completely different games, but that is something that I did find frustrating in Breath of the Wild is was the um, the obviously the weapons constantly breaking. You'd finally find a really good weapon, then it'd break. Um, with this one, there's a lot more um, customization as well. 
you've obviously got what would be heart vessels in Breath of the Wild in here. We've got obviously um, just a life meter, and then we just like again with Breath of the Wild, we've got the um, stamina bar, and like so. I've just picked up lots of pomegranates there. So obviously, if I eat a pomegranate, you can see it brings some life back to me. And you've got little challenges. So it's quite a random one, but I had to find. What did I have to find there? I had to find a another broccoli, not broccoli, another cabbage, and then you place the three cabbages on the platforms, and then you're able to get into that chest. I'm supposed to be trying to take out this sort of uh, boar, but I don't think I'm powerful enough to try and take it on. But we'll see how we get on. Might have to do a lot of running away here. Try and something really good also about this game is the is the arrows. So if I use up all my arrows, you can see I'm using up all my arrows trying to take him out. So once I've done that, now if I try and fire another arrow, so I was run I had run out there. You can see see the little power bar while well, it's like the stamina bar. It starts to come back. So over time, I can just recover my arrows there. So let me just have a little look at my notes. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and avoid this legendary boar because I'm definitely not powerful enough. Well, actually, if I can get him to run into stuff like that, then I might be able to take him out. Obviously, the the combat in this game is just crazy. Like obviously jumping. Like you just saw there, jumping around, and you can use your axe, you can use um, your heavy axe, which is obviously a little bit more powerful, but it's quite slow. And then you've obviously got um, similar powers to Zelda, where I can pick stuff up, so I might be able to find a rock or something here. If I press L on that rock, I can throw the rock at him. So the I would say the the combat in this game it's a little bit more fun than Breath of the Wild. I don't think it's better. I just think it's different. It's fun. Just because I can do a lot more crazy kind of stuff than you maybe can do in Breath of the Wild. Let me just go to the map. Let's have a look. Let's just fast travel back here because I don't think I'm strong enough to try and take out those four legendary things just there. So I can't fast travel because I need to run away from this guy. If I jump on my deer, reindeer maybe, hopefully I can just run away from him. Or I might be able to... If I eat a few... Pomegranate, so I might be able to try and beat him. So if you've watched any other of my reviews, there's even a list of all the new games coming out in this art style. You'll know that uh, Cell Shading or Toon Shading is some of my favourite art styles when it comes to gaming. As I've said, I think the similarities with Breath of the Wild, it comes down to basically how the game looks. Obviously, like I say, it looks similar. It doesn't really play similar, to be honest. It's obviously, again, it's an RPG with puzzles. So, that's obviously, again, why it gets those similarities. I think, obviously, with a game like this, now, when you obviously, so, we're probably, I don't know, hopefully, maybe more than probably, going to be getting that Breath of the Wild 2 game at some point this this year, hopefully. So, with a game like that, the expectations of that game are just gigantic. If it's not as good as um, Breath of the Wild, you know, people are going to slate it. Whereas, obviously, with this game here, 
they've just been able to develop a new IP. There's no expectation. They've obviously put quite a lot of money into the game. You've seen the amount of um, advertising and stuff that's gone into the game. A lot of, obviously, YouTubers have had to try and sell the game a little bit more. It's obviously, it's performed very well sales-wise. I know a lot of people have bought it. But like I say, there's no expectations if if you're bringing out, say, a new Assassin's Creed like they have done. People are going to look at that game and go, well, it's not as good as the old one, or I want a different Assassin's Creed kind of thing. Same with Breath of the Wild or Zelda, whichever Zelda you want to talk about. They always get compared to one another. When you've got a new, brand new IP like we've got here, you can obviously just have lots of fun with it. You can try stuff out. This might obviously be another big seller for the for the company. But that's why I think that it's doing so well is because there's no expectation of the game. People aren't kind of thinking, well, I've paid loads and loads of money for this game. It should be as good as all the old ones. Like I say, it's a new IP. There's zero expectations. This is taking a lot longer than I'd hoped to try and take out this guy. I've got to take out another three after this. I forgot how good the Pro Controller was to play with. This is the first time I've played it out of handheld mode uh, in about two years. I haven't. I just forget it can go into uh, onto a TV. So you have obviously got you've got four different styles of play that you can play. Um, well, four sorry. Or difficult is you can do um, story mode, which is obviously the most basic mode, or you can do slightly more challenging modes. I think this is, I don't know if this is on normal. Story mode is obviously the easiest, and I believe you can change it throughout as well. And then obviously, you've got the option to um, change your character throughout. And then there's you can do lots more different customizations. I don't know if I can show you in battle. Uh, try and go on the other one. Yeah, so if you go on to here, you can obviously do all your customizations. Um, you can obviously get different power ups. So like I've got a few different headgears. They all have different abilities. So depending how you're kind of fighting. You know, if you want to try and, like you've seen here when the um, warthog is it? I don't know what it is. When the giant pig runs into a wall and it gets like knocked out. So here if I put this on I can do um, slightly more damage. When he's stunned, I think this one's for air. Yeah, so if I want to fight people in midair, I've obviously got a different helmet for that. So there's lots of obviously customization. I know they've, I think they've already brought out DLC for this game or they've announced it. You've obviously got all your different skill trees as well, which is pretty much like any RPG. It's a, it's, it's a little bit easier than, I would say, the Assassin's Creed um, Valhalla skill tree. That's obviously gets very complicated, whereas this one, it's a lot easier. You obviously find more coins, um, and then you can unlock different things. Um, and then obviously you've got all the different uh, blessings as well, so that gives you more power as well. You can see at the bottom, what does that one do? Uh, ignores damage from the first hit taken after using any buff potions. So you can see there, that's where obviously all the uh, customization comes in. Um, you can get different weapons, you can change them as well. I think I've been on this about... I think it's about 15 hours now that I've been on the game. So like I say, I think it's roughly about a 40 hour um, game. So I'm probably about halfway through, something like that. So I'm not going to try and take this um, Warthog thing out. 
I'm just going to finish the stream there. So, like I say, I was trying something new today. I was going for a play review. Um, I think I need to work on it a little bit more, but I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to obviously subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have enjoyed, obviously, the live stream, I'll try and do some more of them. But thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.